All right, yo guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get mods in No Man's Sky. I'm going to be linking this site in the description because I think it's probably the best site to use uh, for getting mods in No Man's Sky. It's got the most mods and they're more active. It's more like active community that actually keeps the mods more up to date than a lot of other sites. And plus, I think it's the most safe one to use. So what you want to do is I'm just going to quickly go through this because there's a lot to cover but it's not super complicated but I'll break it down so what you want to do is you want to go into Nexus Mods you want to create an account uh, you can create a free account it's probably best uh, you don't need a paid account um, and you want to go down to view all games and I will yeah so find No Man's Sky and then select it and then you want to go down to I'd recommend popular mods for the last 30 days but no popular of all time and it will give you a bunch of options for mods here there's a bunch of interesting mods uh, fast actions is a very good one just makes your actions faster or instant even uh, changes in like the way planets generate it's interesting and there's also like graphics optimizations and stuff to make the game yeah like this one fine LOD makes the game run better um, and there's also ones that are like straight up cheats uh, which you know if you want to do that you can do that but I'm not going to do that but yeah um, there's lots of things that just even like things that uh, optimize the way that space is generated but if you go on to say fast action fast actions is a very good example here because fast actions uh, was updated quite recently um, based on when this video comes out um, and it was uploaded a long time ago and you can see it's got a long history of versions which is very good and also it's got a virus scan saying it's safe to use so this would be a pretty good mod to get, but I've already got the mod. Uh, I can't use it for this video. But yeah, this is a very good mod to use. It's very helpful and you know has a long history. So it's probably going to be updated for a lot longer to come. And yeah. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to download a mod that just came out in 2016 and was last updated in 2017 and hasn't worked ever since. And they've just given up on updating it like you don't want to download a mod like that and just have it not work and then you could delete the mod so you don't want to do that you want to find a mod that's kept up to date but also at the same time sometimes a mod might still work but hasn't been updated because it hasn't needed to be updated so there also is that side to it as well but I guess you're not going to know that until you try it um but for the most time, most part, I recommend downloading mods that actually have been updated recently. See, this mod looks quite interesting. It's immersive space and just makes space look more real. It was updated a long time, last updated a long time ago. But I've got a feeling because it's part of space, maybe he hasn't needed to update it for a long time. That's what I'm hoping. So I'm going to... I'm going to take a gamble on this mod and hope that it works. Still, if it doesn't work, then I'll just get another mod. But I'm going to hope that this mod works. <laughs> so, okay, let's uh, download the mod. So, to, to download the mod, you just want to go into Files and you want to go to Manual Download. And you want to go to Slow Download. And you want to click this. You want to click Slow Download because we got a free account and here it will start downloading so now what you want to do is you want to just open the file and you'll see it's a pack file all your mods should be pack files if it's not a pack file then it's probably not going to work so you want to extract all and now it's extracted it's here with the pack file normally there's like sometimes you get other files but the mod file is always going to be a pack file so now what you want to do is i'll just use this window you want to go to this PC 
and you want to click on whatever drive you have your program files on so you want to click on program files x86 then steam then you want to go to steam apps common no man's sky game data and okay so this is the point that you want to be at so this is where they actually kind of uh, this is where they changed how this works normally or it used to be that input was there and then pc banks i think shader cache and full log but there was this no mods folder and it's kind of confusing because you would have thought that you put the mods in the mods folder and then you click on mods and then it comes up with the exported but then you then it has metadata in that and then it's like well now you've got no idea where to put the mods so actually what you got to do is you've got to go into game data and go into pc banks and in pc banks there's going to be a bunch of pack files don't worry about these um, but there should be a text file at the top saying disable mods or something you want to delete the text file make sure it's actually a text file or like a it might not say text file it might be text something text rich i can't remember but it's some sort of text file you want to delete that the one that says disable mods delete that one and that will make it so all the mods that you put in here will actually work so then what you want to do is you want to go and create a new folder and call it mods like this in all caps i don't know if it's going to be in all caps but i heard a bunch of people say oh create a mods folder like this in all caps so i'm assuming it's going to be in all caps so you want to create this folder in all caps and it should have nothing in here these are just the mods that i've already got in but what you want to do is you want to go to where you found uh, where you just extracted that other folder and you want to just drag oh, dra okay drag and drop the new mod uh the mod that you just extracted into this mods folder that you just created and that should be all done and now you can actually just play the game and it should work okay so to you know see if it's all worked when you open up no man's sky you should get this warning that says mod warning it appears you're running on modded version of the game this is not a bad thing this is just warning you that you have got mods on in case maybe you forgot you might have forgot i don't know but if you want to another thing that i was going to mention but i forgot was if you ever want to turn your mods off because there's no option to turn the mods off. Um, so what you got to do is you got to create another folder somewhere else called mods off. And then anytime you want to turn all your mods off or certain mods off, you drag and drop the mods out of your um, out of the file that I just put them in. And then you put them in this new file you created in a completely different location called mods off, and that would turn the mods off. Okay, so here I am in the game, and um, this ship is kind of broken, it makes this annoying noise. But as you can see, it's made a minor change to the way that space actually looks. If you compare it to what the game normally looks like, it is a little bit different. It's not hugely different, but uh, yeah, it, it's not like bright and yellow or anything like that. It's just got these faint clouds and stuff like that. So it's makes a little bit of a more difference in the game makes it look a bit more realistic but uh, there's other mods as well that will make it look even more realistic but then also if I go back you can also see that I have got a third person mod that I installed before which gives me more field of view in the third person and I also have the fast actions mod which makes me able to craft things faster like see how that much faster that is compared to the normal one where you gotta wait for the circle to go around it literally takes like half a second and it just takes so much time especially when you've got to craft a lot of things um, it just makes things take a lot longer but 
yeah, I'll definitely recommend if you're gonna get a mod, you should probably get this. Uh, make sure that you get this fast actions mod because it is extremely helpful. Uh, and also maybe get, you know, I, I mean, I don't want to tell you what mods to get. You get whatever you want, but I'm just seriously recommending this fast actions mod because it's very good. But anyway, that about does it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.